Real Life Media, it's your girl, Christy Salazar. Welcome to the inaugural Dream Machine International Film Festival here in North Hollywood, California. And I gotta tell you, we're bringing you exclusive interviews with the actors, directors, producers, not to mention all the fashion. And tonight, it's all about making dreams come true. So buckle your seat belt, because we're about to take you on an entertainment ride tonight. So from Real Life Media, the Game Changers, you know how we got you. We'll be back, stay tuned. Real Life Media, it's your girl Christy Salazar at the inaugural Dream Machine International Film Festival. And I got the winners on my carpet tonight because tonight we are celebrating Lifetime Cinema Villain. So tell me, what is the secret to being a Lifetime Cinema Villain? You know, you should really pick up my memoir to find that out. It's called Dying for Living. Okay. It's on Amazon. It's called Dying for Living, Sins and Confessions of a Hollywood Villain Ooh. and a, um, a Libertine Patriot. But um, I think part of it is if you do a good job, they keep hiring you for that. I like that. And uh, it happened to Rutger Howard too on a lot of, a lot of his jobs after the hitcher. Mm -hmm. But um, I think you just have a certain energy and a certain imagination and it works out really well. Um, I'm happy to have done that work. It's been great, rich turf for an actor and a lot of fun. And how much do you like playing the bad guy? You know, most of the time I love it. I, I, I wish they didn't give more money to the front guy, mm. but uh, I can't cry the blues about it too much. It's, um, I, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Mm. It's a lot of fun. And one piece of advice you would give to an aspiring actor, producer, film director? You know, this is going to sound self-serving, but I think that they should probably contact me because I run a mentorship program and, and uh, we can help out and show them the way. You, you have a choice. You either wander in the wilderness or you do things on an A-list level. And uh, there are ways to circumvent a lot of that wandering in the wilderness. I love stuff. that. How can they find you? Well, they can Patrick Kilpatrick on Facebook or Twitter. I'm Patrick. I'm Pat Kilpatrick on Twitter. And uh, Uncommon Dialogue Films is the name of my company. And all my contact stuff is right there. All right, sounds good. If you want to get in the business and you want to learn from a legend and a lifetime cinema villain, you know where to find them. So more from the red carpet. We'll see you later. Thank Bye. You. Cheers. Thank you so Bye. much. Real Life Media, it's your girl Christy Salazar here on the red carpet for the inaugural Dream Machines International Film Festival. And we have... Raymond, Raymond Carago. And Raymond, you were just awarded this beautiful eagle for best concept. So tell me, what goes into best concept? So creating the best concept. You just have to make something as, that's personal to you. Make it as personal to you. Um, I'm originally from Kenya in East Africa. So this was my, this, this short film I did about a year or so ago. It's about a young man from Africa who ha he has to be true to himself, mm -hmm. despite cultural expectations, family expectations. It's about being true to himself, and I believe that's something that I know for a fact where I come from. A lot of people are not able to do. And I think that's where the magic really happens: is when you're true to yourself, you allow yourself to evolve into your best potential, exactly. and then your creativity explodes. Exactly. Everything comes together, right? Exactly. Yeah. And speaking from personal experience, because you know, growing up, I was told that you know, art is not a proper profession. It's not something to follow. And now on my last trip home, I was able to do motivational speaking at schools, speaking to children, you know, from the same schools that told me not to follow this profession. Right? Exactly. exactly. And they paid me too. <laughs> <laughs> so again, when you follow your potential, you become your best version. And that's what I'm about doing with my art, showing people how to be their best selves. Love that man. That, that, there you go. Where can they follow you, support you? Uh, right now, I'm actually taking a social media media hiatus. But when I'm back, King on the Rise. All right. I am the King on the Rise. I like that King on the Rise. And again, he said it right. You know, when you allow yourself to just be your truest version of you, the potential is limitless. Your creativity is literally divine, and you can do nothing but shine. So from the red carpet, real life media. We will see you next year. Dream machines. Not an inaugural because it's not the beginning anymore. It'll be our second 2020. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. Life Media, it's your girl, Christy Salazar, and we are here on the red carpet for the inaugural Dream Machine International Film Festival with the one, the only, Sabrina Pecario. Just got back actress. Yes. How do you feel right now? First of all, I got to tell you, your film was amazing. This woman 
can act. She can act and you really, you know, the storyline that you told was so engaging because it was about, you know, a mom's grief and how do you yes. bounce back from that grief and how do you yeah. be at peace with that? So put me a little bit in the process of being on set for that. Well, first of all, let me just say thank you so much for Dream Machine. You guys rock. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for my director, Hami Tohis, my scene partner, Ronan Barber, my friend, Bella Silverstein. But um, the, the acting process, um, I use a little bit of emotional memory. I also use the circumstance. So it was like 110 degrees. It was really hot and I was jumping with one leg. So I was actually physically tired. So I, I use that in my favor to help me out to build that physicality and the state. And I also, like we, we were talking pre uh, previously, I, I don't try to anticipate anything. I feel like I'm present and I react moment by moment, so that's and I what I did. that because I felt present there with you. There were moments when I was watching that when I felt like I was in the desert and it was like, oh my gosh, you're gonna get bit, you know? So you put me there because you were present and you you capture the audience by just being in that moment. At the same time, I felt the grief as a mother. I felt that that heartache, and I think that's what true movie making does is it allows you to go on that roller coaster. So what was it like being on set knowing, okay, I'm in the hot desert and I got to get these shots done? How do you keep the how do you keep the focus? Yeah, I'm very uh, I always concentrate and I like to use all the elements around me to help me out. And I, one of the reasons that I love to be an actress is because I can use my own emotions, my own frustrations and grief through those characters. So I actually lost my mom five years ago and every time I have to deal with grief, immediately I, I Every time that I do this kind of character, I heal a little bit more inside of me, so that helps me. So you're utilizing, you're acting, you're kind of like, it's kind of like therapy, it's kind of like therapy, it's, like an outlet. It's therapeutic, definitely, and it helps me. Uh, you create art, you create a poetry uh, through those characters, so. And you being in this industry, what is a piece of advice you would give to another female aspiring actor, producer, director? Well, there is only one person like you in this world. Um, Believe in yourself first. Don't let anyone say no to you. And keep doing what you love. I love that. Well, like I said, this woman's about to take over the big screen, the production screen. And I'm rooting for her. We're putting it in the universe because it's going to happen. And again, best actress right here. So again, real life media, we are here. And we are celebrating all the winners tonight. And stay tuned because there's more coming from her, her production team. And give us your production company again. Uh, Percario Productions and TouchAlifeProductions.com. We We're about to touch some lives with some media, so yes. we'll be back. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Live media, it's your girl, Christy Salazar, here on the red carpet of the inaugural Dream Machine International Film Festival. And I got to tell you, I am loving the films I saw tonight, but what's really getting me are the characters that I'm seeing on the screen, and yours in particular. So, Ronan Barber, and tell us who you play. I played Ranger McConway, Mojave Shadows. And tell me how you got into that, because your character, I'm not going to give you a lot because I'm going to tease you, but your character is very connected by the heart. You can tell that you know that there's a life or death situation going on and you are pulled and gravitated to that. How did you kind of get yourself to lock into that character? Well, you know, he's a character that's kind of shaken out of apathy. Um, but, you know, uh, what helped me is, for one, the weather helped. It was the hottest day of the year when we shot that. So it was kind of... Uh, a little easier to get emotional when you're, you know, in the heat and, uh, you know, of course... Fighting heat exhaustion. Yeah, and you're thinking about lunch and stuff. But no, I'm, uh, you know, I was definitely... I found a place within me that I connected with that was just, you know, all my... You know, it was a regretful place. And so I... Uh, I basically made the stakes high for myself by, um, you know, imagining it out of reach and that really kind of helped jump me up. And I gotta tell you, it was such an amazing film. It kept me engaged from the beginning to the end because it evoked a lot of emotion and that's what good movie making is, is evoking a lot of emotion, taking you on a roller coaster, you know, and so where can they find you and support you? Uh, well, I'm on Instagram, it's uh, Ronan Barber and I'm on all the usual Facebook um, and uh, soon coming RonanBarber.com. And one bit of advice you would give to an aspiring actor or actress? Director, producer? Um, make good use of that alone time in your room. It doesn't have to be wasted time.
There you go. A long time solitude could actually be game changing time, right? Yeah. All right. There you go. Real life media. Ronan Barber. Check him out. Support him. Incredible actor. Can't wait for you guys to see what's coming from this film festival. So from the red carpet, we'll see you next year. Bye. Real Life Media, it's your girl Christy Salazar here and we are here at the inaugural Dream Machine International Film Festival and I gotta say, all we do is win because Woo! tonight's Sacred Heart won and that just goes to tell you when your heart's in the right place, you can't do nothing but win, right guys? Yeah. That's it, man. How it you was... feeling? Hey man, it's a dream come true. Uh, man, again, shout out to this man right here, Rico Tunstall, man. They just pr bringing the vision, man, to fr you know, fruition, man. And we just, you know, we just walked the path that's laid out in front of us. I'm sure I speak for all my colleagues and uh, you know teammates, speaking for everybody back home. And best media series, you know, what goes into being a best media series as far as, tell us a little bit about what brings up that concept of best media. I think, I think it all started with Benny Lamont when he wrote the trailer, but secondly, the cinematographer that I have, Mr. Sean Yaboy, one of the best on the Gulf Coast to do it, cinematography, editing, all that. This guy is a genius, and also you gotta have great actors. And that's exactly what Manager of the Year has, great actors. And how do you guys keep your egos in check? Because you guys all seem like you can hold your own, but how do you keep your egos in check so that the creativity can flow without egos getting involved? Well, Anyone wanna answer? It's just, like, it's, it's just like in football, you know, the New England Patriots. One of the best teams there is, they got a great coach, Bill Belichick. So without a great coach and a great mind that's able to bring us all together and tighten us up, hey, we wouldn't be what we are. So all shots out to the coach, the notorious manager of the year that brings us all together. And, hey, Enrico you know, is like the connector or something yeah, over here. Yeah, yeah. But, and again, you know what? I think it's so important that we really show a lot of diversity in media yeah. as far as, you know, being, you know, just, just being so prevalent in our industry right now and mm -hmm. setting the tone for what it means to give good media and to give stories with a message. Yeah. Would you guys yeah. agree? Yes, yeah, definitely yeah. agree with that. And, um, you know, with this cast, man, it's, it's a diverse cast, male, female, different races. I mean, we're just, we're ready. We're ready to attack everything when it comes to this whole media, and we just appreciate this award. Shout out real quick to our producers, Fred Robbins, um, also to, thank you, also to, uh, we want to shout out Willow Albritton, which is another producer, and Bill Marshall. Bill Marshall. Pensacola, Florida, we're bringing it home to you. <laughs> All I gotta say, man, Pensacola, Florida inspired me tonight because they came with it, they came with an entourage, and they came to win. And as you can see, they won. So again, from Woo! the red carpet, real life media, we're about to get our celebration on yeah. because trust me, this red carpet is about to be lit in two yeah. minutes. Nice. So again, from Hollywood, California, where dreams do come true. Remember, all you need is a dream, the vision, and the right team because teamwork makes the dream work. Peace out. We'll be back. Favor ain't fair, but it's so sure good. Sure looks good on, on us. us. Yeah. <laughs> yes. To the empire. To the empire. <laughs> That's a very cool guy. Right, Real Life Media, it's your girl Christy Salazar here at the inaugural Dream Machine International Film Festival in Hollywood, California. And I have none other than Rich Barville. And I gotta say, wow, break of dawn. Bring me into that, bring me into that moment. Wow, um, yeah, break of dawn. Well, I mean, we wanted to tell a story, unconventional horror story. And when you see the film, the real horror is the behavior that happens. And the film takes place in the 70s when uh, this type of behavior is very was swept under the carpet. People didn't talk about it, and there's yeah, and, and so nowadays there's a lot more exposure to it. But we wanted to put it in that era when when things were really silent. Um, but we wanted to make a film that kind of transcended. It was it was kind of a traditional horror feel, but you discover at the end really it's the behavior that's really the true horror. And I think that that goes with human nature. You know? And I think that was a perfect way to put it because you really, I mean, even though it had a horror feel to it, you got the message in it. You know what I mean? There was a young girl who was fed up. Yeah. You know, I mean, she was right, done. Right. You know? Yeah, I think uh, it, it plays into that primal uh, instinct that people have to, they want to act out, yep. you know, and uh, a lot of my films are like that. It's like, what would I do in that situation? And most of us wouldn't do that, you know, but um, but I think a lot of people would want to, or they, that's the way they feel, and that's that's what the film was about. It's about how someone in that situation would really feel about that. So we were really proud of all the actors I thought were fantastic, and Janie, uh, our lead, 
you know, I, I still get goosebumps when I watch her. I thought she was fantastic. So. The, the acting was amazing. I mean, it just, you could feel it. You could feel the emotions. And I think, like you said, it did bring light on a situation, on a, on a subject that a lot of people don't talk about. Right. So it did shed that light, but it also shared the emotions that go with that behavior. Right. right. But we don't want to give that away. You have to watch the exactly. film so you know what's That's going on. <laughs> right. It's a teaser. Right. So, but again, stay tuned. Break of Dawn. How can they get more information about it? Uh, you can check out rsvp-films.com. There you go, Rich Varville. Congratulations again. Thanks. Taking home all kinds of awards tonight. All right, Real Life Media, we'll be back. Thank you so much. Real Life Media here at the red carpet for the inaugural Dream Machines International Film Festival. That is a tongue twister. <laughs> and I have... Mikey Rocks. And Mikey, you are so sharp tonight. So Thank tell you. me, are you part of tonight's event? Are you nominated, supporting? Absolutely. I'm um, a co-star in Unconditional. Okay. So it's going to be amazing. What Great can I thing. expect from Unconditional? Ooh, you can... Mm -hmm. you, I want a teaser. Hey, laugh. You're going to laugh. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. You, um, you're going to get some... Butterflies? some ooh, I, oh! I can't... I can't wait to I can't wait till you see it. Okay. It's, it's gonna be amazing. He so. already got me a laughing and butterflies. You can't go wrong with those two. <laughs> and I got popcorn. It's all magic out here. Well, where can they find you? Support your work, honey. Go to um Instagram, all platforms, Mikey Rocks, two E's, two X's, M I K E E R O X X. Not three X's, two. There you go. He keeps it clean. <laughs> keep all it right, clean. keep it clean and classy, people. Absolutely. All right, we'll be back from the red carpet and gotta say, man, stylish. You know how Hollywood does it. We'll be back. Bye. Thank you. Real Life Media, it's your girl Christy Salazar here at the inaugural Dream Machine International Film Festival. And I'm going home in the clouds because I was surrounded in movie magic tonight. And I got to tell you, there were so many winners in the house. And tonight in Hollywood, there was more dreams that came true tonight. Seeing your passion, your vision on the big screen, nothing gets better than that. So. For tonight, from Real Life Media, stay tuned. We got exclusive interviews coming with the actors, the directors, the producers. And again, Hollywood, there's so much movie magic happening, but be the game changer. Change the game. So, we love you from here in Hollywood tonight. Good night. Besos. See you next time. Bye.